Russia is facing a severe economic crisis with international sanctions and a high poverty rate of 14.4%, but its projection of military power through its various arms sales to Arab client states is an important political move that has been effectively deployed. A year after floating its currency, Egypt's economy has steadied with more foreign investment but its debt has ballooned to more than $80 billion. Although Arab regimes still rely heavily on U.S. security patronage, the Russian appeal lies in Moscow's willingness to aggressively put its hands up as an international power that is concerned about regime stability and unencumbered by lip service to human rights. The message Russia is sending to other Arab countries by supporting Syrian President Bashar Assad is that if you are facing domestic trouble we are going to stick by our allies, Karim Bitter, a Middle East expert at the Paris-based Institute for Strategic International Relations told Fairfax Media. Vladimir Putin, left, shakes hands with Recep Tayyip Erdogan prior to their meeting at the presidential palace in Ankara, Turkey, on Monday. Photo Alexei Druzhin in way are not like the US, we are not going to sell you weapons and then abandon you when you face problems. So when Sissy flirts with Russia HES just sending a signal to the US that we might explore alternatives. Growing friendship from left, Iranian Hassan Rouhani, Russian President Vladimir Putin and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan in talks in Russia last month. Photo Mikhail Klementi of Egypt is still the second biggest recipient of American military aid after Israel to the tune of $1.3 billion annually but in August the Trump administration froze nearly $300 million of weapons over human rights concerns. Egypt has bought 50 fighter jets costing around $3.5 billion from Russia and signed a deal last month to have mutual use of the two countries' air bases. Incidentally, Saudi Arabia paid $3 billion for sophisticated Russian air defense missile systems in October, according to Reuters, while Iran, its regional rival, has negotiated the purchase of a $10 billion Russian S-300 anti-aircraft missile system. Putin has also shrewdly capitalized on the U.S.'s schizophrenic policy mainly towards Syria to fill the political vacuum that started with the Obama administration and was prolonged by Trump's heavily gutted U.S. State Department. In the process, he has managed to woo other important autocratic leaders such as Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, convincing him to withdraw his support to Syrian rebels and focus his political ambitions instead on curbing Kurdish statehood on his border. In a show of Putin's confidence, on Monday he announced a partial withdrawal of troops from Russian bases in Syria citing his concerted campaign to degrade Islamic State and other opposition forces. But Bitter believed that is not the end of it. So far the cost-benefit analysis shows that Russia got what it wanted without paying a heavy price, however I do think it will end up paying the price for its intervention in Syria, he said. Loading Hay warned that much like the Soviet Union's mishandled campaign in Afghanistan fueled the rise of jihadists and birth Talqa current militant groups are already including mentions of targeting Russia in their jihadi propaganda. The mission is far from accomplished. Sign up for our daily wrap of the news you need to start your day.